Right, good evening, Dr. Per family. We're going through the card for Saturday, the 30th of July from the Hollywood Bex Gravel, whereby the main race there is the Marshalls World of Sport Gold Cup over 3,200 meters. There are 10 races carded. The first race is due off at 12.20. It's a listed event to be run over 1,600 meters. But importantly, guys, just take note, we are running on the poly track. Kid, give us some advice here. What should we be doing in the first? Uh, the first is quite competitive. Um, there's some hard knockers here, some horses that have uh, been around the block. Um, I do like Gentleman's Wager. I like its profile. My only concern is does come from too far back. Um, it leaves itself too much to do, and um, it is a concern. Uh, but I do like Gentleman's Wager. I think a horse like... Um, Number 11, Silvano's timer must have a chance. Um, ran just behind uh, Gentleman's Wager. Um, a horse like Willow Express, um, it's lost uh, two starts. You know, it's moved up to a position and, you know, it looks like it's going to go on with its run, but just um, couldn't find a finish. But um, Gentleman's Wager in the first for me in a um, competitive uh, race. Right, yeah, look, I, I'm with you there. I do fancy Gentleman's Wager. I fancy the 11 as well. Only thing I'm worried about the 10, you go through and we've had 11 runs, never won over this distance. Yeah. For me, that is, a, that is a slight concern. If I'm looking for a roughie, I'm looking at horse seven, Cat Daddy. I don't know who's riding it. Do you know? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, um, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to get involved in this race. Um, for me, there's better bets to come later. So we're happy, what, 8, 10, 11? Uh, 8, 10, 11. You've got to throw in the 7, Cat Daddy. You know, it's got some, got some fair uh, form. And if, if, I was ta if I was taking a quartet day, you know, and I'm taking six horses boxed or roving, whatever, I would certainly throw in the nine, this Donald McDonald. Something's just telling me, don't leave this one out. 100%. First you know, run back I mean, uh, go, coming from Joburg. Yeah. Um, needed it. Six runs at the course for three wins a second and two thirds. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. No, absolutely nothing. And again, when we get to um, the poly, I don't mind if they're drawn a little bit wide. I want them to come one or two off the fence and, and, and hug the outside rail. So I'm hoping, and I think we are, I think if Gentleman Wager gets a clear run, I think we, we could be in the winner's enclosure there. A hundred percent. I just took note there that all three reserve runners have been scratched. So the yeah, patrons just if you make note there, yeah, 13, 14, 15 are out. hundred percent. Right, guys, we move on to race two, off at 1300 meters. Uh, grade two over 1200 meters um and this is for the two-year-olds um I've, I've gone through this one and for me it's a match race yeah between the six and the 11 uh, my apologies the six and the 10 um other than that i really cannot see anything else um i would probably narrowly go with the six because of the draw and see it's unbeaten but um, the 10, 7 or 8 to 1, I think it's certainly worth a small uh, each way bet. I'm not going to go crazy. Third one after a rest. Um, I don't mind having a small touch there. What do you fancy in the second? Well, I, I do fancy number six, um, Gobsmack, but just uh, on, on your 10, right on. It's been backed in from 16 to 1 to 7 to 1. Um, that's a fair bit of support. Um, oh, my word. Okay, I did not know that. Yeah, it's de listen, it was definitely not a 16 to 1 shot. That was just a theft at that price. Um, it's run some creditable races. I mean, it ran just behind Sweet Pepper um, and uh, had a bit of a problem down at the start. I do make the six, um, if it brings its Joburg form down to Durban, I do make it quite hard to beat. Um, I know the stable do think quite a bit of it, but um, okay. six, 10, and. Um, this horse totally rocks, you know. It's puzzled me, this horse, you know. Uh, we've been on it before. Um, it's come out and won its two starts at Scottsville. The only concern is that Gravel, it's fluffed its lines um, and quite badly. Um, but 
could be quite a quite a lurker. But six and ten for me there, and you should get through in uh, the play. Hundred percent. I think bar pot. I'm going to take. I'm going to take those two, six and ten, and let uh, and let the rest run. Hundred percent. Right. Uh, let's move on to race three. Race three is due off at thirteen thirty-five. Another grade two, over twelve hundred meters. This time for the boys. What do you fancy there? I'm a big Mercantile fan. I have been since day one. Um, I followed this horse quite a lot. Um, I like Abella Matsignani. I think he can ride. Um, Stuart Pettigrew, you know, he knows how to do it. He brought Feather Bow down at one on July Day. Um, I do think Mercantile is the right horse in the race, uh, but I do have healthy respect for form, uh, former gear. Um, I think its debut, debut win was very, very good. Um, last time out, probably a little bit disappointing. Yeah, yeah. It was up there, but never finished too far off them. Um, and um, I do think it's between the five and the four. I think it is a match race. A um, little bit of an outside, outsider. Could be a horse like Captain Bombshell. But um, I do like Mercantile. And um, I think Mercantile is the best bet on the card. Wow. Okay. Yo, that's powerful talk. Yeah, look, strange enough, I've gone exactly the same as you. I've gone five, four, eight. Um, at this stage, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Mercantile's round about 16 to 10. Um, actually drifted out slightly. No ways. It's back out to 18 to 10. I think, listen, I think it's a fair price on its form, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, if you look at it there, you know, it ran fifth. 2.3 lengths behind Quantum Theory. Uh, Quantum Theory runs in a group one later on in the day, which the stable think it's quite hard to beat. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, these Joburg horses, when they come down to Durban, you know, it's always a concern whether they whether they can, they take to the track, um, you know, especially when they're babies. But um, I do think Mercantile is a bet at 18 to 10. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, exact as I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance here. I'm gonna go Merkin Tour with an eight, um, Captain Bombshell. You know, I see Gavin staying aboard this one. Um, and I think there was a touch of support from for this one from about tens to seven. And generally, when the money comes from a musket horse, you know, generally they give a good account of itself. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have a couple of exactors, five, five by eight box. Um, maybe even four and five as well. But trifectas, box four, five, and eight. I don't think you go too wrong there. Barpot, are you bankering? Um, you know what the concern is, uh, the postman, is that Musket's got three runners in the race. So tactically, he 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 could play it into his hands, do you know? Um, yeah, yeah. Do you know? It's, it's much easier when you have three in the race than have one. But um, listen... I'd take a chance in Bank of Mercantile. I'd be upset if it, if it missed the top top two, to be quite honest. 100%. 100%. Right, let's move on to race four. Um, the first of the grade ones, due off at quarter past two. Um, this is the Tequeni Stakes, grade one, over 1,600 metres. Um, the guys just take note. Horses 14, 15, and 17 have been scratched. And my first selection here, and for me, quite a strong first selection, is Horse 3, Time for Orchards. Um, Keegan Demilla for up. Terry. Do you fancy that one as well? I, I fancy that one. Yeah, I, th I think 5 one is a cracker. I, uh, I really, really do. It's a steal. I, I think, I think it's, it's, it's worth the bet. You know that. Absolutely. Um, and let's be honest, if I can get nine to ten a place, I'm gonna I'm gonna gobble your hand off if you give me that. I really, really will. I think I think this is a very good each way bet, eh? Yeah, myself. Myself. Um, I mean, I just think it's it's, it's run too stronger. I looked at the one Canadian summer. Um, I'm worried about the distance, to be honest with you. We know that this is an above average short. The yeah. problem is. Um, when the boy asks for the effort, it always hangs out to the left. Yeah. Okay? If he's drawn one, he's on the fence and he hangs left, he's in trouble. Definitely. 
So, unfortunately, I hope it wins for Daryl Moore, you know, being a nice small stable, but won't be getting a penny of mine. I'm, I'm going to go three by two there, to be honest with you. <laughs> My selections are exactly that. Three, two, I had 14, obviously, it's scratched now. And um, I liked a bit of number five. Um, but I do think, I think time for Orchards, you know, you go look at that last run. Go and look where the horse came from. You came from yeah, a hopeless yeah, yeah. position, drawn in yeah. the clads. You know, it's not hard being drawn uh, 14, uh, 12 on a 1400 at Gravel. You know, you got to have luck and um, things go your way. Yeah. Um, I do think Hold My Hand won very, very well last time out. Look, obviously, the, the form hasn't worked out well. No winners from seven runners. Um but you always got to respect um, a Glenn's a Glenn Cotson horse, and I do think Absolutely. it's an improving sort. Um, the five bless my stars it did come out and win very well last time out. Um, how strong it, how 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 good it is. Um, we will find out that race was only twenty three days ago, and um, just a little lurky. Yeah, you know, if, if you if you you're looking to throw a horse in at, at a bit of a price. This horse missed uh, Miss Daisy from Billy Rates' stable. Um, came from, it was just hanging all over the track the last time out. Um, Pierre battled to keep it straight. And um, at around 15, 16 to 1, I think it could be a little outside, a little place bet. But I do think Time for Orchards is the right horse in the race. I'm with you too there. I'm looking at taking um, trifecta there. I'm going to bank at the three, take a chance there. I want to throw in the two. I want to throw in the six, um, eight, and ten. Um, but I'm going to go with three in, in a strong way there. Yeah. Um, bar part, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to probably throw in, you know what? Um, I think race is a tougher later. I'll probably take a chance. Bank of the three. Bank of the three, yeah. If, if you want yeah. to throw in one more, go three and two. I think you'll get through with those. 100%. 100%. Right, let us move on to the fifth race, um, the second of our grade ones. This is due off at 14.50, 10 to 3. Again, as I said, a grade one to be run over 1,600 meters. Uh, I'm very keen to see what you like. Yeah. <laughs> um, some, somehow, I think that we, we're probably sitting in the same boat here. Yeah. But let's see, let's see what you fancy. Yeah. Uh, you know, the boys have been following us for a while and the ones that have been been um, loyal su supporters of us, you know, they know what we think of this horse, Royal Victory. Um, wow, what a run last time out. Um, I, I actually think an extra 100 metres it beats beats Cousin Casey. Yeah. It's drawn two. Look at its last two runs. It's been drawn in the clouds. It's drawn two. Um, got Samanga up. Uh, listen, I think Royal Victory wins, to be honest. Well, yeah, uh, myself. Um, I mean, listen, we gave it to the boys last time out. I think and, forty to one. It was uh, sixty to one when we gave it. It came to them. Yeah. What did it pay a place? It paid about it, six rand a place, didn't it? I think it paid six rand a place on the tote, but on the books you could have at least got fifteen to one, ten to one a place. Yeah. Um, and I certainly think the additional two hundred meters. Um, wow. Well, I think whoever beats World Victory wins. Yeah. Um, quantum theory, you and I both know that they they, they rate that. that yeah. That's got a massive chance. No, they do. Um, so maybe the boys must look at swingers and exactors there. For third, I'm throwing in the seven. I was disappointed last time out. Now i got you. Yeah, that hang all over the track. That I, I know a few of the, uh, you know, we know a few of the big boys, Mace, you know, that that have a touch and that stuff. And um, the source cost the boys um, some big money on July day, you know, just hung at a crucial stage. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, cost itself the race, you know, no one to blame or anything like that. Um, but I do think now I got you um, must have a live chance. Uh, if he gets, if he gets a ground. Yeah. But again, I don't believe Corey would put uh, Alba on the horse just to look at the weather on Saturday. That's for sure. No, that's what, yeah. You know, and again, we go and look at its first run, less than the length uh, to Mercantile. That was a really, really good run. But again, for me, distance, 
Was it hanging because it's tied? Because he was yeah. getting tired. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you know what's a, a good thing, and you know, it's it's a good point. So you know, Muzi Muzi rides a lot a lot for Corrine, and he's ridden Correct. the horse three times, and he's gone into quantum theory. So is 100%. there doubts there that the horse doesn't stay? Yeah, I'm with you. I don't know, but um, I think it's between one, one, two, and nine. I'd, I'd, I'd be, I'd be shocked if one of those horses never won. Please, 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 please let Royal Victory be uh, cousin Casey this time. Uh, <laughs> I'd love nothing more. <laughs> I would love nothing more if Nathan can phone Grant. And says, I've got you this time, boy, <laughs> That uh, would be fantastic. <laughs> myself, you know. That, <laughs> you know, you know, when we gave the horse at 60 to 1, you know, that horse would never, that we that horse will never be 60 to 1 again in its career. Never, ever. No, that's for darn sure. And yeah. if, if you if the boys remember Nathan, the show, we still said to him, if we give you 100 Rand, um, what will you do? And he said, you put an each way bet on Royal Victory. So had they listened to him, that certainly would have picked up, as we said, six six rand uh, a, a place bet on the torch, and you could have got ten to one on the books to run a drum. You know? Yeah. So, in my buy part, even in my jackpot, I'm I'm only going to put one and two there. I'm not going to go for anything else. To be totally honest with you, I do think Royal Victory will finish in front of Cousin Casey. I'm not worried about that. And personally, I. I only one to be Royal Victory for me is Quantum Theory, and I'm not leaving it out. So I'm going to yeah. go one and two there, to be honest. You, you know, it's actually a bit, it's actually it's it's six and a half to one Royal Victory. That's a value bet on the day. Absolutely, absolutely. But, the boys should uh, the boys must get on there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. When I did my pricing up, I had Royal Victory. Um, I had a three to one favorite. Cousin Casey second favorite. Quantum Theory third. Um. Six to one's six to one's a good price. You you know you'll get your money back for it. It's paying nine to ten a place. That's a steal. You know, I always say the boys the boys you should need to think here. If you put ten wins on that horse and twenty places, if it runs second or third, you still show a profit. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So they they need to just box smart there, man. Yeah, hundred you know, percent. Take the nine to ten. I mean, again, Samanga Kamala riding this horse. Um, man, again, he, he's not going to go and jump on a horse to have a look and see what the grave of track looks like. Um, really, 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 I, I don't know. One and two for me. There we go. Myself. Right. The sixth race, the third of our grade ones, Jaw Fat 1530. This is a Mercury sprint over 1200 meters. Um, my selection here is horse five. I've gone Elysian Chief, Muzieni, Corey Lensley. Nicely drawn at five. Um, won the grade one last night. Very, very speedy sort. I think the gravel track will suit this one down to the ground. And personally, I think Captain Ransom needs everything in its favor to win. If something goes wrong, if something, he, he, she, she can't win. She's good. She's not just good. She's brilliant. Um, but I, I'm going to go five by three there. I'm only putting two horses in buy pots there. Um, if anything else beats it, well, I, I don't know. I can't have anything else. Um, I agree with you on Elysian Chief. Um, uh they expect the horse to run a big race. Big race like it did last time at. Captain's Ransom, I've always been of the opinion it's better in Joburg. I mean in Cape Town, sorry. Sure, sure. Um, you know, I do think it's run where it beat Chansonay the last time at. <laughs> you know, we had Chansonay to win. We were all over it that day. I that's do right, think if the jockey right. riding Chansonay rode the horse, it would have beaten Captain Ransom. Um, it, like you said, it's got to have its own way. I think Elysian Chief beats Captain Ransom. And a little lurk at a bit of a price. He has a horse, Big Burn. Um, you know, it loves to go to the front. This horse, it's drawn to. It's ideal for the horse. 
it will definitely go to the front. And um, you know, when the others come, when the others come crawling, could hang on for a place. 15, 16 to one the horses at the minute. 100%. Bit of swingers, bit of swingers, exactors. Um, yeah. You know. Um, also, a horse not to leave out. Sorry, is old William Robinson. I, I think it came from a bit of a hopeless position last time out. Um, you know, he was, right. try, was, he was always making up the ground. You, you, you know, you can just see a horse, you know, when you think, oh, yeah, you go, you're always going to be making up the ground. And um, he was always making up the ground. But um, if if the top one, Elysian Chief and Captain Ransom fluff their lines, other than those two, it's very, very wide open. Even a horse like Good Travel on its best form could have a chance. I, I tell you what's puzzling me in this race, and I, I've gone through this one big time. Okay, and William Robertson for me as well. On that last run, he was finishing hand over first. Um, yeah. My betting has got William Robertson at seven, just over seven to one. But let's call it seven, seven. to one. That's it. Okay, Master Archie, I've got at four to one. Okay. <laughs> now you now, that William one out. Robertson didn't just beat Master Archie at Gravel over eleven hundred meters. Didn't just beat him. He gave it a paddy whack by nearly four lengths. Why would there be a form reversal? I really, really don't know. I, I can't see why. Uh, you know, when I was watching the race, I might be wrong, but I just thought Master Archer never looked comfortable the whole way. No, sure. Um, can you can you Master didn't... Archie turn around four kilos? No. Listen... You, you, you know, look, you, obviously... you look at that and you go, Elysian Chief has beaten Master Archie by four lengths, you know, albeit over a thousand meters. Um, but on that day, Master Archie was stopping, you know? Yeah. Big um, Burns. I, I don't Big... know why Master Archie's at 41. Watch, was come up and win lonely, Big... you know, we all look like stupids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Big Burns better off at the way to Master Archie. Yeah, 100%. Double its price. 100%. And the horse is one um, at Gravel. Oh, sorry, it's run second at Gravel. Um, yeah. Look, for me, personally, my jackpot, 358. Three, five, and eight. You throwing yeah. in Master Archie. Uh, not, not Master Archie, my apologies. Three, five, ten. Sorry. Three, five, ten. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, I won't lie to you. I'm throwing in, my, in this horse good traveler, you know. I, I think he's been disappointing, you know, when you ran there to Elysian Chief, you know. Disappointing run. Last time out was a much better run. Um, I think of this horse, you know, it's course and distance form is very, very good. And uh, I, I, I'm throwing that one into, into my play. Okay, I'm going to put a star around that one. I'd just, rather just in case, I'd just, rather have forty percent or something than one hundred percent of bugger all. To be honest with nothing. you, nothing. Yeah, that's it. You, you know, like I'm not sure about you, Mace, but I'm a big fan of horses. Actually, like having a having a look at the track and you know seeing how the track goes. Um, you know, when horses try out new tracks and that, you never know how they take to them or. Correct. Correct. Yeah. No, I'm with you there. So look, three, five. If you convince me, yeah, uh, three, five, seven, ten, ten, and seven. Yeah, we let them run. Right, let's move on to the big one of let the day. Run. Race seven, Dwarf at sixteen oh five, the Grade Three Gold Cup, thirty two hundred meters. Here's my question: Can the brass get beat? Uh. No, I find it. I can't. I, you know, I find I can't see what can beat it. I what? I can't see what can beat it. It's beaten Blackthorn both times. I thought Nebras actually beat it both times with something in hand. I'm with the you. The further they went, I think Nebras could have gone even further with Blackthorn. Blackthorn does carry fifty four though, and won very, very, very well last time at. Um. I do expect Nebraska to win. You know, it's two and a half to one. 
I, I think I, I really think that's a cracker bet. Uh, I, I, um, I can't I can't see it getting beat. To be quite honest with you, um, I, I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a real real roughy here. Do we get four places? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, you do. He has a he has a he has a real look, a real rough result. Host two, Chewbacca. Yeah. I Not look at the last two. I look at the last two runs over twenty four hundred meters. Hasn't been disgraced. No. Nice handy galloping mass of fifty four. What staying on on both occasions? Um, as long as Gareth doesn't jump and go like the clappers, if he sits off them, I mean, again, you're not going to run on so strongly over just over, over 3,200 meters. Mm. But if, if he's sitting six or seven turning into the straight, I certainly believe he can hang on for a drum. I, I really do. Mm. Um, mm. it's 25 but, to hey, it's, it's been backed in from 40 to one to 25 to one. That must be your money. Must be my six round each way, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it, it's definitely it's de it was definitely not a forty to one shot. Yeah, um, I couldn't I couldn't believe it was forty to one. You know, no. again, what worries me if we go and look at three four runs back. I mean, it's not even winning a middle rated seventy two, and I understand yeah. that. You know, but those last two runs in feature races, I don't think um, this one was disgraced. I what? really don't. It's it's um, it stepped up in four runs from seventy three to a merit rate of ninety six. Yeah, and, and then it hasn't an, disgraced itself. Another big price horse, and I promise I'm taking swingers with this as well. It's a six Crimson King. Go and look at I mean that third to Chrome Yellow. There's nothing wrong with that. Then he runs no. a second to Silver Host. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. No. Um, you know, I think bank in the bros and take a chance when you put the field. That's it. That's it. Like, I even think Rex Union's got a chance. There we, uh, there we I, go. I followed the horse when it ran at Gravel on the at 2400. Ran some Ruby. Should have won that day. Came too late. Um, we actually gave it to run second last time out to Blackthorn. That we, you know, we caught the exactors and swingers and whatever have you. And, yes, uh, yes. Rex Union must have a chance, but I'm in the camp of you. You know, you... I think Sean Terry will win the race anyway. Uh, uh, you know, it's just um, Which how one? can you make? Well, I think Nebras wins, but I think Blackthorn can yeah. run second. Sure, you know? sure, sure. We, we, we um, we've been following, Mace. You know, we've been we've been preaching Nebras. You know, when we when we talk about races and all that sort of stuff, we've been saying Nebras for the for the for the gold on Gold Cup Day. Nebras, 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 Nebras. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying. Sean knows how to get them right as well. Yeah, I know. Bank so, in the brass banker. or the field. Yeah, I'm bank with you too. Brass. I'm with you too. Take a chance. But as I said, I'm going to take swingers. Two, four, six. Please, please let one of them arrive. 100%. Right. And Aragosta, sorry? Aragosta, you know, you're big on it on July day. I was big on it on July day. Yeah, I was. Um, I think it just I, got caught in a, in a bad position, you know. Listen, it wasn't a bad ride or anything. It just, no. it was just stuck on the fence, you know. It couldn't get out and then everything else was going. Yeah. And then only yeah. Aragosta got going. And it, by that time, it was too late. The race was over. 100%. Um, I don't know. I don't know. If Aragos will get the 3200 again, you know, I'm going against Mark to cock, you know, I've got to be crazy. Yeah. Um, if it wins, would I be surprised? Mm. Again, a three year old carrying 57 and a half over 3200 meters. Yeah, that was my problem. The way, you know, um, I don't know. Next year, next year, yeah, and the brass for me, me too. Right, let's move on to the eighth race. Two off at 1650, Champions Cup, another grade one to be run over 1800 meters. Very keen to see what you fancy here. I like Omotana. Oh, geez, I'm, I wonder if my wife didn't show you my race card. 
uh, uh, look where you know never even ran a bad race last time out. Right? you know what I'm saying it just came from a hopeless position um the run that catches Maha big 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 time here is the one to linebacker actually toyed with him you know, it's like smart, you know it smuts him you know uh, you know when it passed the line uh Dalboy said to me he, he's actually just smutched smuts them winning that race um he absolutely flew past them um I think, could, I think Almutana could. I think could 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 be a hard nut to crack. Um, hundred percent. I, I do think Jet Dark. Um, I can't believe Almutana is six and a half to one. My word. Yeah, um, I'd love to know what values that. It, it must be what's it? Okay, the small field. Can we get seven to ten a place? Get nine to ten a place. Three oh, places. You're wow, me. we. You're kidding me. Crocky. Yeah, um, I've gone six five three. No, my apologies, man. Not three. Six five four. I think gone... is is better than his last run. I've but gone he... six five eight. I've only gone. I've only thrown the eight, and you know, this horse linebacker is one of those horses. I, I won't even. I won't even think about it or go and win by three lengths. I've only yeah, shared sure. this horse. You know, we've had this horse every single time it's run. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's last time yeah, it's... at it got cut into. You know, explains the run. So you cross a line through that run. Um, must come into the race with some sort of a chance. Um, but um, Al Mutana and Jet Dark for me. Hundred um, percent. Pick sixes. I'm going to throw the four in as well. Um, I, you're more optimistic than I am. I don't, you know, when we spoke about it when it was went to Joe, but you know, I know what the what the owners and that we're all trying to do, you know, let everyone see the horse and that sort of stuff. Sure, that can sure. take a lot out of a horse going from Cape Town to Joburg to Durban in a season. 100%. You know, we don't see it too often because of the risk involved in it. Um, sure. look, Core Midi Ding's a class, class horse. Um, you know, there's, there's not taking anything away from that. Um, I think Al Mutana. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. First selection. Six, six and a half to one. I think the boys can get on there, be honest yeah. with you. No, myself. What would you go? Yeah, six, five. Is set. What do you think of MK's pride? I don't know. I don't like, I think it's too far. Mm. Um, I honestly, I think it sits too handy. Um. I don't know. I just, I just think the eighteen hundred will catch it out. Six five four and eight. Six five four eight. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Touch your money around for number one, eh? Russian rock. I think. Yeah, again, Russian rock jumps at handy. Four and one. I still think Almutana will come past it like he's standing still. Myself. Almutana value bet? Absolutely. At that price, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I couldn't agree um, more. You know, not a nice each way bet. As we said, 10 wins, 20 places. If it gets beat, if it runs third, you still show a profit. That's yeah, what it's all still, about. That's what it's all about. 100%. Right. Let's move on to the ninth race. Joff at 1725. This is a gold bracelet, grade two event to be run over 2,000 meters. Um, and now for me, I thought this was my best bet on the card. Horse six, Pink Tourmaline. Loves this distance. Um, four runs, three wins, and a third. Um, Louis riding for Brett. I think six or six and a half to one. Good luck, Marina. Um, yeah, six to one. I'm having it each way on that. I'll be totally honest with you. I have gone six, ten, twelve. Um, but yeah, six for me, a nice each way bet there. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, always a good thing to look when you're punching is, is at value. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know Marina's an even money shot. Um, 
you know, the form there where it ran at Grable first time out, you know, we ran to Harmony Gill, not striding out, reported. Form hadn't worked out great. Um, I'm of the opinion Pink Tourmaline uh, loves the course and distance. I think I think Grable will suit the source down to the ground as well. Um, I did like a little bit of the source here, Sprinkles. I thought that yeah, had a we've, chance. We've been it. with it a couple times, actually. Yeah, we, we've been with it. We've been with it too many times. It's cost us a few. Um, 100%. But let's know, be honest, we've caught a couple exactors with that one and Rain and Holland. 100%. You know, that form to Rain and Holland stands out at me a bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Absolutely. Ran last time out, you know, to Silver Darling. I think it got um, taken up for a stride or two, um, where it shouldn't have. But I think 6, 12, 6 10, 12. And um, I did like the 8, uh, follow the star. Um, has been okay. all over the place, though. Um, Travels, yeah, 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 there and everywhere. But um, 6, 10, and 12 will get you through everything. Yeah, it was strange. Um, one of one of I bumped into somebody that likes to have a touch today, and they asked me in this way. So when I said pink tourmaline, they said to me, "Wow, look, Marina smashed it by over seven lengths," you know. And I said, "Yeah, hundred percent. I can see that. I mean, really, a blind man can see that." Yeah. But that was over Kenilworth, and I certainly think that the gravel track sweet pink tourmaline, um, sitting handy. Suited better than Marina. I, I really <laughs> think so. I think Marina yeah. gets going too late. Yeah, I don't think this gravel track suits it either, to be quite honest with you. It, yeah, it, always, I'm, I'm it, always, you. it always puzzles me, you know, when blokes are studying cards and, and that stuff and they're tipping up horses. Oh, well, Marina, like you say, Marina smashed the chair there and everywhere. But, you know, horses, you always got to take a horse's form at face value. You can only take a horse's form at its last run. Yeah. Not, not 15 runs back. 100%. Um, I, I'm in agreement with you. I, I don't know at seven to one horse pink tourmaline. Yeah, no, no. I certainly wouldn't give you seven to one. That I can promise you. No, I'd give you three and a half. <laughs> yeah, seven to two hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. But um, pick sixes, you've got to throw in all three of them. Um, the six, the ten, and the twelve. Yeah, I'd put it in everything. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. Right, guys, let's move on to the lucky last. Race 10, due off at 1,800 hours, 1,000 meters. Again, guys, take note, this is run on the poly. So the first and the last is on the poly. Please don't get caught out here. What do you fancy here? Isi Vungu Vungu. I like Isi Vungu Vungu. Okay. Um, my only concern with the horses... I think it's better on the grass. That's just a personal um, preference. Okay. Um, I think that that we that that run to William Robertson, um, it moved up, but it just never went on. Oh, look, William Robertson smashed him that day. Um, Richard jumps aboard fifty-seven. Yeah. Um, I think it is quite competitive and. Another another horse, my first selection is After the Rain. I do like After the Rain. Um, also, very thin on the poly, never raced much on it. Um, poly's a hard track. You know, some horses like it, some don't. But um, a lot of money around for this horse, Anna Capri. Absolutely okay. smashed in the market. I know the oh. owners um, live in Durban. And I um, think it will run a big race. And a horse like Cassa and Vern, you can't leave it out. You know, 10 runs at the distance, six wins. Um, all, all its wins have come over the distance. Um, it's, it's not an it's not a easy race to last. You know, you're going to have to put a few in here to, to, to get through. Okay. Well, you, the last horse you touched was my first selection. Um, I went for the 10, Cassa and Vern. I, I, I think it will jump and go. Um, I think the poly will suit this one down to the ground. Um, as you know, personally, um, I don't worry about the draw on the poly. If he's drawn yeah. outside, I, I prefer it. I've got no problem with that. 
Um, this is definitely a thousand meter specialist. I think it will jump and go. Catch me if you can. Um, I do like your five to run second. But for me, a dark horse here is this horse seven, Vasim. I see Muzi's jumped the board for Roy Magna, third run after arrest. Um, yeah. I mean, I go back and look, and Muzi rode this one when it beat Riverstown. Um, mm -hmm. Was favored on the day. As you say, not an easy race. If you're playing the jackpot two, um, try and go light early and load up here. Um, put as many as, as, as the budget would allow, but you can make a case for anything here. Really, you can. 100%. Yeah. So yeah, I've gone I've gone 10, 5, 7 in brackets load. Um you went for you 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 like went, the four, so you you fancied the three as well, eh? Yeah, I went three, ten, five, seven. Okay, so we are we are we are sort of in this we are also rowing in the same boat. Yeah. Um best bet for you. I like Mercantor. I do I I do like Mercantor. Um, I think 18 to 10 could be a nice price. Um, I think it could have got into one of the grade ones if it played it. Um, yeah, I'm with you. Do you know? I, you know, it's always puzzling when, when, tra when a trainer has three horses in one race. You know, they'll always have a plan. Um, but I think it's drawn five. I think everything's going right for it. Uh, my only, only, only concern would be it's never run at the track. Sure. Um, yourself? Royal victory each way. Have a, have a each way go on that. Royal victory each way? Yeah. Uh, time for Orchards? Time for Orchards. Look, we've, we've given the patrons a couple value bets. Um, I'm not going to touch the first race. I'm not touching the last. So I, I don't yeah, even look myself. there. I, I just I didn't... Too, 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 too difficult. Um, Mercantile, I, I live, I got no problem with that. I live for that. Um, time for orchards, nine to two, five to one, crack your bed. Crack your bed. The only thing, and I think many people have been caught out on Gold Cup Day. There's so many baby races, and we know, and we, and, and we tell the patrons, be careful. A two year old can improve lengths overnight. Yeah. You know, that's why if we, if we're having bets, easier to back the old horses. You know, the form is there for all of us to see. Yeah, um, they're not going to improve 15, uh, 15 lengths. Um, yeah, Nebras, Banker, Hope Like Hell. Agreed. I, I don't. I don't believe one has to spend too much to catch a pick six. I, I really, really don't. No, you, you'd have to. You'd have to load up in that baby race. You know, with time for orchards and all of them are running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you say, you know, horses improve very quickly overnight when they're young babies. You know, like beautiful butterfly could come out and win. You know, they think a little bit about that horse. Um, it's open, but um, royal victory each way and uh, mercantor. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think. I think. I think the boys can take all to comes on those two, and I think they'll be standing in the queue. I agree. Hundred percent. Well, guys, I hope that the kid and I have guided you guys and put you on the right path. We need you guys to look after yourself, take care, watch sources go down, watch for jockey changes, watch for big betting moves, especially from the punting stables. And break a leg, and let's hope you guys come out on top. Take care, and cheers for now. Cheers, boys. Take it easy.